okay, so here you will see me working so tirelessly on some accounting work for one of my clients. I know y'all like sis. What are you doing? Why are we starting this off like this? Well, first of all, I'm excited because I've figured out this voiceover shit. So uh, shout out to me one time for getting this right. And I wanted to make sure you guys know to first like, comment, and subscribe. And watch the whole video all the way through. Because I got some real important shit to talk about. And I got a big announcement. And this clip is exactly going to be an example of what it is I'm about to say. I know it looked like I'm doing a bunch of bullshit like for the camera, but I'm really not. I am working hard as hell on somebody's accounting, and this is literally what it looks like. I don't even know what my face will look like while I'm doing it, so this was a discovery to me as well as you. So, we're about to get into this video and make sure y'all are listening. Amen? What is up? Coming to y'all live and direct from the living room floor in front of this couch. They got an old folks cover on it and a bunch of pillows. I don't know what that is. Oh, my books and a t-shirt. But yeah, I ain't feel like sitting at my desk. I just want to sit on the floor and get real with y'all. So I am tired. So I'm really excited, more excited than I look. I'm just a little tired. We done went to main event with the kids. Shout out TTM one time. Uh, link will be in the bio if you want to donate or visit our website. Uh, we do mentoring um, ages 11 to 18 for boys and girls. So if you want to donate, volunteer, mentor, please hit us up. Um, we had fun. I'm tired, but we had fun. And I got to get to work soon, which is why I'm coming to y'all. I got a big announcement. So, I'm so dramatic. Your girl has decided to go full-time entrepreneur. Yay! Yeah. So, I'm excited. Uh, this hair is child. I'm going to keep messing with it. Um, but I am excited. I am excited. I decided to leave the school I was working at. It was so bittersweet. Like, I did not want to leave. I didn't. I really did. Like, y'all, I'm so sad. Because I made uh, close relationships with the kids, with the staff. Like, I loved that school. It was nothing they did. I really, really loved it there. <clears throat> um, but... I was working part-time and they needed a full-time person and I just cannot work full-time. I have not worked full-time in six years. I can't. I, I Like Natalie say, I try to can and I just cannot because I do too much. Um, I have two businesses, technically three, and a nonprofit. So I have Evans Bookkeeping, which I do bookkeeping and accounting for businesses personal and businesses, uh, but mostly businesses, any size. I have small businesses, medium businesses, large businesses, uh, just restaurants, institutions, uh, writers, real estate, therapists, all, I mean, the clientele is everybody. So uh, <clears throat> my information will be in the description should you be watching this and are in need of bookkeeping. And hit me up because the girl is a full-time entrepreneur. So, and I don't even know if they're going to let me put my cash up in the description. But if they do, uh, they probably going to let me put the little dollar sign. So I'm going to just put my name. They probably might not know this. Because mm. YouTube be tripping. Um, so, I, if you know, if you want to sow a seed in your girl business, please do. Because a part of this process, oh, and also, let me finish proving all my businesses. I have a publishing company called Victorian Publishing, <clears throat> and I help people edit books, publish books, do cover designs. We do everything. I just got off a call with somebody who was very excited. I've been doing editing for, I can't even remember. It's been like three or four years. 
and uh, Victorian Publishing has been around for a year now, and um, I am just excited. I'm an author, for those who did not know, uh, author of three, like mother of three, uh, three plus, because there's more to come. And um, I love it. It's everything. It's a little, it, it's, it's hard sometimes, but I love it because I love to see the smile on people's faces when they create their book and when it's like they can hold it in their hand or it's a finishing product and they can say, I'm officially an author. Like, I love that feeling. is amazing. So that's another one of my businesses. And of course, I am a motivational speaker. I am a motivator. So I do do motivational speaking. I travel and do it. I didn't get to travel because of COVID, but I do it within Houston, in Texas, outside of Texas. You name it, I can talk about it, whether it's mental health, abuse, all that. Pretty much everything that I talk on this channel, plus more, I actually speak at events and do that. And then also, I have my YouTube channel. So I can't leave y'all. Like, I wasn't going to be able to do YouTube and work full time and run all that stuff. And it was just going to be too much. And I just. Oh, I can't do it. And then TTM. Oh, that way. Whatever. It's my baby. So I didn't want to drain myself. Like, I literally would have broken myself down. Because I had a test, like a, a practice run of working between 35 and 40 hours a week. And trying to do everything else. And when I tell y'all, I was broke down tired. Like, I think I cried at least twice. I didn't want to do anything because I was so busy doing stuff for work or school that I didn't want to do anything else. Like, I was too tired because I was working at home. I was working at school. It, it was just, I was always doing stuff for school. So, I was like, I can't. It ain't going to work. Something has to go, if not multiple things. And I can't let the bookkeeping go and the publishing go. For one, that's a that's a passion. And it's a, a stream of income, so I'm definitely not going to let that go. I can't let TTM go because that's my baby. Like, never, never, ever, 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 am I going to let TTM go. So that's a no. Um, and then, so the thing that probably would have failed would be my YouTube channel. And it's my outlet. It's how I touch people. Uh, most of y'all know I'm trying to work on monetization, so... Make sure you play all my videos. You don't even have to have them on loud. Just let them run. Um, make sure you share, like, subscribe, comment, all kind of stuff because I'm trying to get to these 4,000 watch hours. So journey to 4,000. I'm trying to do that. I blog, which I haven't blogged in I don't know how long on my website, but I definitely want to start blogging more. Like I just do so much like people think I be lying when I say I'm tired or I'm working. Hold on, y'all, because I got to get out these shoes, hunty. Ooh, take them off. Woo. Okay. Uh, people think I be playing when I say I'm working or I'm tired or I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Like, no, I really be out here hustling. And I knew eventually the day would come where I would have to work full-time entrepreneurship i didn't think it was gonna come this fast um but it wasn't it was kind of forced so to speak and i didn't want to like i straight up told my principal because she said well i could find you another part-time job within the company or the schools or whatever and i was like nah i said if i leave here i'm working for myself like i'm not getting another job I'm not doing it. I'm not finna go work part time somewhere and be miserable and tired and not be able to do the things that I want to do. Like I'm gonna take this time and invest in myself because every time I try to go full time or if I'm part time and try to go full time, it never works out. Like it, it just some something happens and it falls through. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with faith. And I've been wanting to do it for so long, like, especially the past year, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And I've wanted to do it for so long, but I'm just like, I ain't ready. What if, what if this happened? I ain't gonna be able to pay no bills. I ain't gonna have no money. I ain't gonna do this. I ain't gonna do that. Like, I, I was just coming up with excuse after excuse. And it's scary. It's so scary. Like, it is extremely scary. Um, 
I don't know if y'all, I, I ain't want to have y'all leaning. Okay, there we go. All right. And so just y'all a little bit. Yeah, I look a little more straight now. Ooh, girl, that forehead. Child, listen. Um, But it's scary. It really is. I can't sit here and tell y'all I'm not scared because I'm really scared. Like, really, really scared. Like, really, really, really scared. <laughs> like, I'm not playing. Like, I'm scared. I ain't even scared. I'm scared. Because it's like you ultimately moving on faith. Like, you're moving on faith because the income that I will be bringing in strictly depends <clears throat> on other people and clients that I could potentially lose or I could potentially not gain any more clients. But because I have faith and because I know that this is what God called me to do, because again, like I told y'all, I don't make no decisions without talking to God first. And at first, it was unclear because I had a hard time distinguishing between my voice and his. And I'm just like, at one point, I was like, say, listen, go ahead, tell me what to, what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. Can you, hello? Like, <laughs> tell me what to do. And I'm like, is it just me or is he telling me what to do? And what I realized is, for one, it had been on my mind too long. And that's how I'm, that was one sign. And for two, blessings started coming. So I started getting more clients. I started getting more recognition. Um, and then for three, when they gave me the ultimatum and I had uh, a weekend to think about it, right after I had the conversation, I literally was, I was telling people why I couldn't do it. And I was like, because I do this and I do this and I do this and I do this. And some of them was my coworkers. Like I'm listing all this stuff that I'm doing and I'm like, man, I can't let this go. I can't let this go. Like, I just, I ain't gonna let it do it. I ain't gonna, I can't do full time and this. And so I'm telling them all this stuff. And then they were like, well, it sounds like to me, you made your decision already. And even like another one of my coworkers asked me when I first got there, or like halfway through, when she found out what I was doing, it was like, why are you here? Like, but what you here for <laughs> is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, you doing all this, then why are you here? And so my only answer was, well, I like kids, like because of the teenagers. And it wasn't even so like I was executive assistant and I did more for the kids and for the staff than I really did assistant duties. And so my only reason for staying, so to speak, was the kids and the staff because I did staff appreciation. So I made my staff happy for the whole year. And this year was rough on teachers. So I to see the, the smile I put on their faces and to help the kids, like, it was really important to me. So that was pretty much my only reason for staying. And I spent the whole weekend when I was telling a few people about it, like, I got to do this or I got to do this. It, I was only talking about the entrepreneur part. I was talking about how I couldn't go full time because of this. It's like the decision was already made. I just hadn't officially said it. But I kept saying, oh, I'm going to be a full-time entrepreneur. I'm going to be a full-time entrepreneur. So I'm like, all right. I keep saying it. Like, it was so effortless. And I once I realized it, I was like, you know what? She was right. I did already make my decision. So when it came time to actually let them know, I was sad. I wanted to cry. At one point, I shed a few tears for the kids because I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to be so mad at me. Cause they told me, Miss Miranda, you better not leave us before they left. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna be here, but uh, I'm not. So that's gonna be tough. I'm gonna miss my babies. But you know, I got TTM. I can still go visit them. I can put them in TTM. I'm still gonna talk to them. Still got their phone numbers. So and uh, same with my staff. I made sure that everybody had my phone number. We on the gram, something like we need to stay in touch. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to follow this faith because I have to know and believe that God is going to cover me. And that's a lot of people who are entrepreneurs. Is That's the ultimate goal is to finally be able to go full-time entrepreneur and not have to work for somebody. Now, granted, everybody ain't meant to be an entrepreneur now. 
So don't be pushing people out here to be entrepreneur that that ain't their ministry. I think I did a video on that, but I didn't post it. Or I don't know if I'm posting it yet. I'm still trying to decide. But, because I just be making videos, y'all. I really don't. I be vlogging, so I don't know what video going to come out, what I'm going to put together. Um, so anything's possible. <laughs> and I was just like, man, let me just go on through this. And I hope it does not come. I don't want to speak it into existence. But in the event that I do need to get a job, I will. But for the most part, nah. Nah. I was, I was never, since college, I've had three jobs. So I've stayed in my jobs long term. I used to work for my adopted white dad in the corporate office for two years doing accounting. Then I did accounting for a, a Jewish temple for like five years. Then I just did this for a year. And the last two was part time. And I left my adopted white dad <laughs> full time. After I wrote Troubled and came out with Troubled and started the Trouble Movement, I literally sat there and told him I had to leave because I wanted to start this movement. And he understood. For one, he gave me the money to start and he still donates all the time. Like, he understood what I was saying. I was like, I'm not going to be able to work full time and follow my dream and follow my purpose. It ain't going to work. So I left a good full time job where I was happy to go part time for this reason. So I knew. For me to go back full time was backwards. That was backwards. It would have been stupid, especially for the amount of pay. The amount of pay was insulting. I was like, y'all got me, <laughs> and I cuss. I'm working on it, but I cuss. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> like, it ain't no way between my credentials and the work that I'm going to have to do, if I got to let something go in my personal life, it better be worth it. It better be worth it. You got to work for what you're worth. If you're not working for what you worth, baby, you, that ain't it for you. Like, don't let nobody lowball you. Like, work for what you are worth. On period. And this ain't it. So, I was like, mm-mm. I ain't going to be able to do that. That's, that's struggling. Like, no, I can get three clients and make that. Like, no, what? What? So, I was like, no. Nah. And, you know, honest truth moment, I am in a lot of debt right now. Uh, so that would have been the only other reason was to get out of debt. But even still, it wouldn't have been enough for me to get out of debt. So I'm like, I'd rather have my mental health stable than have money. Like, I know that sounds backwards to a lot of people, but I've always been a mental health over money person. If I don't like something or if it's messing with my mental health, I will get rid of it. I don't care if it's a person, a job, a thing. I do not care. If it disturbs my mental health, I will get rid of it or you. If you mess it with my faith or my spirituality or my peace, you got to go. Period. I'm not doing it. I've done it. I can't. Bye. <laughs> like, you got to go. I can't. I'm not going to because I done been through too much. Like, you're not going to play with my pizza like that. So, I'm mental health over money. A lot of people prefer money over mental health. Like, they'll suffer at work if they're making a good amount of money. I'm not doing it because I'd rather be happy and struggling than depressed or sad but got money. No. Mm -mm. I ain't going to be able to do that because money don't buy happiness. I don't, I don't, you might be able to walk in the store and get whatever you're going to get. That's cool. But money don't buy happiness, though. And if you're not happy, but you... What? If you're not... Listen. Yeah. Don't... I'm not going to even start preaching. But don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Please don't. Um. And so that is my big announcement. And, and y'all probably going to see this shirt. A couple times because I might record a bunch of videos at one time while I'm sitting on this good flow. And I am really excited. Like, I'm excited. I know I don't look excited because I've really, like, I'm, but inside, I'm really excited. Like, I really want to go, oh my God, y'all. Man, let me tell y'all, like, oh my God. God is good. God is good. Like, I really want to do that and be my loud self, but. I'm 
<laughs> so I got about a month before I'm a full time entrepreneur, and I I'm gonna be tired, but I don't think I'm gonna be as tired as I am. Cause I'm trying to do way too much, like way too much. I don't get no sleep. I go to sleep at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. I gotta wake up at like nine or something like that. And it don't sound, it sound late. First of all, I'm not a morning person. It sound late, but when you go to sleep that late, it's not that long. Like I usually get about six or seven hours of sleep. So that makes me tired. Um, and I'm starting to forget stuff like, all kind of stuff. And that's when I realized, I was like, bro, you trying to do too much. Like, you forgetting little things and, and everything is suffering. And I know if I'm not good, TTM not going to be good because I'm the president. So if the leader ain't right and the top person ain't right, everything else under that is going to fall. That's, that's ultimately how it is. Like, if the leader ain't right, the president ain't right, everything under that is going to begin to fall. And, you know, luckily, praise God, I have a good vice president and Christian because there have been times where I'm like, hey, I can't do this, bro. I need you to kind of take over for me. And she's been able to do that. And you don't find that in a lot of people. Or I have a good team with Sharice and Jalika and Carrie and my mentors to where I, if I need to step back, then I, I can step back comfortably. And I haven't been as present as I want to be in TTM. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Because TTM is my baby, so when you start messing with my baby, then it's going to be a problem. <laughs> like, I'm a protective mama. And that when I start stepping out of my purpose, I'll be like, no. Because God called me for a reason. He called me to do this, and I'm not going to give up. And I'm not going to sit here and let my baby suffer because I'm tired. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. So, mental health over money any day for me. And a lot of people... And, and, you know, I have family like this. I might have a couple friends like this. I'm going to be like, well, how are you going to pay your bills? And how are you going to do this? And that's, I don't understand why you're doing it. And everybody ain't going to understand. Everybody ain't going to understand. I don't care. I don't care. It ain't your business to understand. This is my life, and I'm going to do what I want to do with it. Shit. I don't. Shut up. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Like, first of all, don't manifest that negativity into my life. Like, I don't get, get out of my life with that. If you're going to be negative, bye. <laughs> like, nah, bruh. Don't worry about how I'm going to do it because I got God and I got faith. That's all I need. That's all I need. Amen? So, I'm just like, hey, it is what it is. And y'all going to be hearing about it because I get to do more YouTube videos and all kind of stuff. Like, just everything that I want to do, I get to do it. Now, mind you, I got to get my life organized. <laughs> I got to promote, get my businesses up. Yeah. So it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to require a lot of work, a lot of planning, a lot of time management, a lot of rest. Because if I don't start resting, I'm going to be tired either way. Um, it's going to take a lot. So, but at least I will be happy. At least I'll be working in my purpose. And that's what matters to me. And um, with that being said, another thing is, Trying to put this in as I can. Fuck it. Uh, y'all know me. Okay. Y'all know me. I cuss a lot. It's a habit. I can't, I don't know what this piece of hair is doing, but it was bothering the hell out of me. I, I it's a habit at this point. Like I literally I, I be trying to to stop. Like I'm I'm trying not to do it as much. But at the same time, I feel like don't change me. I don't like that. You're going to take me as I am. Because it's kind of like, well, how do you expect to get a high caliber of clients? Or how do you expect to get these people or get those people or people of a certain status if you if your YouTube channel is crazy or if you're cussing a lot, if you're doing this and you're doing that? First of all, my brand is Elements of Me for a reason. Because there are different elements of Miranda Evans. You get... The, the angry one, the the attitude, the happy one, the purpose, the motivator, the cusser. You're going to get every possible element that you're going to get of me because I'm authentic. And that's what got me to where I am because I'm an authentic person, because I'm open, because I don't filter myself. I don't lie about anything. I'm a very open person. That's what got me here. Let's not forget, sis wrote a whole book about her life. I talked about how I was out there having sex with a bunch of people, mostly older than me, 
people that were friends in in fucked up relationships, abuse that I done I done went through. Come on now. I'm an open person. Like the whole world know I used to be a hoe. So at the and what else is, is there to filter? Like I don't what what it it's already out there. So take me as I am or don't take me at all. And if somebody decide not to work with me because they may feel like, oh, she cuts too much. Oh, she ghetto. Oh, she this, she that. That's that's your problem. That's your loss. Because even though I may be ghetto or I may be ratchet or whatever, I am still, first of all, I'm smart as hell. <laughs> and I'm, I'm an humble person, so I don't brag about myself very often. But for the sake of this part, I am going to because at the end of the day, God gave me accomplishments and blessings. I am smart as hell. I wrote my first book at 21, 22 years old. I am 28. I have built these businesses and this nonprofit from the ground up. How many people you know, and this is no shade, how many people you know that's 28 and can do that? How many people, like, let's, let's be honest. I, I got two degrees in accounting, like I got a master's, I, I'm i smart. I was mentored by, Charlie mentored me when it came to being an author. Phenomenal woman. I couldn't have, I could have not asked for a better mentor. Bill, the CFO of 3540 Smoothie Kings in Houston, taught me how to do accounting and everything I know. I didn't learn a lot about accounting in school. I learned a lot from him. So, <clears throat> My knowledge came from multimillionaires. And you also have some people who, and I'm assuming this, but may feel like, well, you might not be able to get no white clients that's rich or whatever or that can pay you real money because of your, your attitude and your cussing and your YouTube channel and the way you put yourself out there. Let me tell y'all Let me tell y'all something. My adopted white father, who is a multimillionaire cuss. 10 times as much as me. When you first meet him on approach, he real cool. But once you get to know him, he cusses like a motherfucker. Like, literally every other word is a cuss word. You think I'm bad? He bad. But he knows how to adjust to his environment like me. Y'all think I'm finna go to a business meeting or go speak somewhere and be like, yeah, that motherfucker said this and this and this and bitches. Well, let me tell you something. Like, they got me fucked up. Damn, shit, you get on my nerve. Like, you think I'm finna go in there doing all that? No. No. I don't do that at all. I adapt to my environment. If I'm in a professional environment, I'm gonna act in a professional way. Like, when Megan Thee Stallion said classy, bougie, ratchet, like, Listen, you can get the classy or you're going to get the ratchet. Which one you want? I'm going to adapt to my environment. And on this YouTube channel, because I have to be professional so much and all the time, this is my outlet where I can be myself. This is an element of me. So if you don't like it, and I give a warning, if you don't like it, I don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> like, I really don't know what to say. I'm not going to change myself or filter myself. Will I try to do better with it? Yeah. But I'm not going to just, if, if I want to say motherfucker, I'm going to say motherfucker. And that's that on that. I mark my videos not for kids. My videos are not for kids. So it don't got to be PG-13 because it ain't marked for kids. It's, it's not for kids. Ain't nobody 13 watching it. So... I'm sorry, but no, I don't, I don't subscribe to that activity. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. You, no, nah, no. Nah. And anybody that know me know you can't tell me nothing. Now, if I feel like you're trying to tell me something to better myself and it's going to be beneficial in a way where I can still be who I am, like I said, I got mentors that teach me stuff. If Charlie come to me and say, hey, I think you might want to do the book this way, because for one, you got I would prefer you stay in your area of expertise. And Bill say, well, you got to do the accounting this way. They know I cuss. They know I'm ratchet. And let me tell you right now, for those of you who don't know, 
if we're going to make this a racial issue, yes, I got videos on YouTube talking about Karens, Black Lives Matter, all kind of shit, calling out white people. Half my clients are white. And I act like this. Most of my clients appreciate me because I'm like this. Because I'm loud. Because I'm funny. Because I'm going push, to push you. Like, my clients know me like this. White, black, I don't care. Woman, man, I don't care what you are. They love my loud country ghetto ass. Because they know, okay, for one, she funny. And even though she might be a little ghetto ratchet, whatever, because they're not going to say it to my face. At the same time, sis is smart. And my financials or my book is on point. So I ain't worried about all that. She going to be who she want to be. They love me for who I am. And these are clients that I've had for years. So that's a no. What's go what gets clients is you being you. Your knowledge and your expertise and you being you. And you being authentically you. Because don't nobody want nobody fake. Don't nobody want that in their life period. Whether it's they working with the person, whether they boyfriend or girlfriend, whether they friends, whether they family. Don't nobody want nobody in their life fake. And that's not me. What you see on social media is how I am in real life. I'm really like that. My dumb ass captions and my, my crazy ass shit that I be posting, I'm really like that in real life. I ain't got no sense. Y'all done seen my videos, child. I ain't. Y'all be like, damn, did she just say that? Yep. I said what I said because I said it. I am very strong-minded. When I have something on my mind or if I have something I want to do, it's going to get done. Once it's set in my head, it ain't, it ain't no coming out. I've always been like that. My mama will tell you the same thing. Once Miranda got her mindset on something, it ain't nobody that can change it. If I feel like something is going to be detrimental to my future, I will make adjustments. But I done come this far by faith and by who I am. And God loves me as I am. And for the same people who got something to say about what I say or what I do, okay, so you ain't committing no sins either. So you perfect. Because last time I checked, it ain't no sin greater than other. And that's a whole nother video. So you ain't got no flaws? So you ain't, you ain't got something that you do that people don't approve of? These celebrities and these business people, they out here half naked on social media. When y'all seen me half naked? If I put a swimsuit on, all right, cool. If I got a crop top, all right, cool. When y'all see me naked? Huh? When y'all, I, I don't know, I'm not understanding. My mouth is reckless, but at least I know, all right, I need to be presentable. So, yeah, no. Mm -mm, I, can't, I can't subscribe to that. I'm not going. I'm stubborn as hell, and I'm not. <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to change what I say, how I say it. Ain't gonna happen. So if you are a future client or a client of mine, I can't even say a client of mine because my clients know who I am. If you a future client, this is who this is me. This is who I am. You're gonna take it or leave it. And that that's all I got for you. I, I don't know what else to say. So that I had to put that little two cents up in there because in case somebody got something to say, <laughs> I already addressed that. But since it's about to be a full-time entrepreneur, I ask for your prayers. I ask for your encouragement and your motivation. And I ask for your dollars. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm playing, but I ain't playing. Um, and I ask for your referrals. Like I said, I do bookkeeping. Very, it, This ain't no bullcrap bookkeeping, y'all. This is like legit. Like I said, I got two degrees and was mentored by a multimillionaire. I know what I'm doing. So if you want your financials to be accurate, hit me up. First of all, you need to make sure your financials are accurate. Business owners, get, get your accounting right. Because when it comes time to, to file them taxes or they come after you, then you're going to be like, well, can you do this? No, you should have been signed up for all that. Or for those who may want to write a book and don't know how to start. That's what I'm here for. I got a whole team from a designer to a marketing person to an event coordinator. I'm the editor and publisher. I got all the knowledge because I got experience because I've been there. I've been where you are when I didn't know what I was doing. So otherwise, I wouldn't have these businesses. Continue to donate to TTM. If you need a speaker, 
contact me. Like I speak for HCC, I speak for different schools, I speak for U of H, I speak on mental health, I speak on abuse, I I speak on everything. I've done a conference on forming a nonprofit or the makings of a movement. Like so many different things that I could talk about. Hit me up. I'm here. <laughs> Full time. Y'all get all of me. Okay, all of me in my glory. So, that's my big announcement. Dang, I should have waited to the end to tell y'all so I can make sure y'all watch the whole video. Y'all better have watched this whole video. Damn, I should have waited. But that's cool. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to trust that y'all watch this whole video. And I'm going to post some more videos. Like I said, y'all might see me sitting here in this shirt and look video. Don't judge me. Don't judge me because I'm just going to go ahead and get it out the way while I'm sitting here and while I got time to sit down and do videos because I want to do one more video on something else. So I'm going to holler at y'all. Wish your girl luck. It's 35 minutes in the game, so we know we got to hang it up because I don't be liking them long videos because y'all attention spans are short. <laughs> so I love y'all. And... It's about to happen. I got one more month and I am going to be a full-time entrepreneur. I'm scared. I'm a little worried. But I got faith, though. But I got faith, though. Period. That's it. God got me. I'm done. It's a wrap. Cut it off. <laughs>